Okay, uh, Professor Franco, may we have your discussion? Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Franco. Uh, Vice Chancellor Tan, uh, fellow members of the panel, uh, Dean uh, Gutierrez, uh, thank you for coming today, mm -hmm. and uh, Dr. Atienza. Uh, the question that is posed to us, and pang mayaman na lang ba ang UP, uh, I'm afraid that I cannot answer that question. Uh, in the case of the Office of Admissions, uh, we just uh, ensure no, that uh, everybody uh, has uh, equal access. You know? uh, we, we all know, of course, that the uh, UPAD is the main instrument you know, that we use you know, for uh, admitting students, although we also have uh, transferring shift fees and the like, so, no, but the bulk of our students uh, go to the UPAD. So if, in the Office of Admissions, you know, we just make sure you know, that uh, uh, financial status uh, is not the reason for uh, that, uh, let's say, being able to take the UPAD for not being able to make it into the university. Uh, now, we understand you know, that uh, there seems to be a paradox as mentioned you know, in, the, uh, in the program you know, between uh, the, the trust of UP to you know, open and be short to everyone uh, regardless of economic status, and then uh, at the same time you know, to give preferential treatment to those coming from disadvantaged uh, 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 backgrounds. Uh, we recognize, of course, you know, that we have to strike a balance you know, between the two because, for one, uh, we want uh, to get the best students. You know? uh, uh, excellence is uh, one of the uh, uh, governing uh, uh, virtues here you know, when we admit the students. You know, we want to get the best students and the best way of implementing that would be by giving an exam you know, and then everybody will uh, supposedly complete on equal terms, you know, and then uh, the smartest, you know, the best students, you know, they, they make it. Uh, but we, all, we know at the same time, you know, that there are students, you know, especially coming from uh, the provinces, you know, that uh, who may have been disadvantaged, you know, because of their background. Uh, so we also try to introduce some equity factors, you know, in order to increase their chances of competing, you know, for slots in the university. Uh, so we have to strike a balance you know, between the two. Uh, now, uh, how do we go about it? You know, uh, in, in our case, you know, first, you know, we just try to make sure you know, that uh, 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 the OCAP is accessible to everyone. You know? That's why we increase as much as possible our testing centers you know, nationwide. We go to uh, the farthest of places. I think the farthest uh, uh, a testing center that we have uh, the most difficult uh, place to reach, you know, uh, would be Cuyo, Cuyo in Palawan, you know? uh, And uh, we feel, you know, that uh, we have to go to these areas, you know, in order to provide access you know, to all the high school students, you know, who want to come to UP. Uh, so that uh, uh, nobody can say, you know, that, well, uh, the OCAP is inaccessible, you know, uh, I don't have any uh, money to go to, let's say, uh, uh, an urban testing center like Biliman, no? so they cannot use that as a reason. So, siguro, ayun na sang paraan namin no, to give access to everyone. Uh, and then, uh, we also try to develop the exam in such a way na parang uh, hindi naman uh, nagiging, uh, ano, uh, nagkakaroon ng advantage din siguro, yung mga, let's say, mayayaman. No? Uh, and it's a question na pinopost din dito ay yung tungkol dun sa pagiging aptitude-based ano, ng UCAT. Ano, uh, nagiging advantage ba ito dun sa mga mayayaman? Uh, uh, we did a study before no, uh, regarding the UCAT questions. Uh, exactly what kind of questions do we have in the UCAT? Are they uh, uh, aptitude-based or uh, achievement-based? You know? And uh, well, one thing that we discovered is that uh, most of the items are anyway aptitude based, and I think that was the uh, intention in the first place, you know, to come up with an aptitude based exam. And uh, the feeling here is that uh, uh, an aptitude based exam uh, minimizes, you know, the advantages, you know, that uh, the wealthy or the rich uh, students, you know, might have, you know, market, uh, you know, because. Uh, 
uh, kapag uh, achievement based yung question, kumisa parang uh, it's just a question of your memory, no? Uh, kung ano yung napag-aralan nila, siguro sa mga textbook, sa kanya sa klase. And then, uh, this is affected, of course, by the access of the student ano, to uh, materials. And also, uh, kung meron siyang access to more or better textbooks, di ba? Uh, Siyempre, mas uh, accurate siguro yung knowledge niya. No? Uh, unlike, uh, kung minsan yung mga nanggagaling dun sa mga malalayong areas, uh, alam naman natin kung minsan yung mga problema yung mga textbooks natin, you know, na, uh, pinag, na, na pinag-aaralan nila, may mga inaccuracies and the likes. Ano? So if we were to base ano, the book cut on, uh, let's say, the textbooks you know, that, are, that are used, ano, and uh, pwede magkaroon ng disadvantage itong uh, uh, talagang mga mahihirap na studyante. Siguro yung mga galing ng public schools, especially, no? Kasi yung mga textbooks na ginagamit nila kung minsan, pwede hindi ganun ka-accurate, ka, ka no? So, uh, by making the book cut uh, aptitude based, you know, we, well, at least we believe you know, that we are able to cancel uh, more or less yung advantage ng mga, na ganito ang klaseng advantage ng mga uh, mayayaman, those who have more access you know, to uh, materials you know, and better textbooks. You know. uh, so, yung sagot ko siguro dito sa tanong dito na key questions, you know, kung uh, does not an aptitude based book cut lead to the favor or consideration of the the more affluent uh, applicants, you know, my answer is in the negative. You know? Although, syempre, uh, the distinction you know, between an uh, achievement-based exam at saka an aptitude-based exam is sometimes quite subjective. You know? uh, we have a panel of experts looking at the questions and then kumitsan sila mismo hindi nag-argue regarding the nature of the question. You know? But I think that um, we can uh, uh, we were able to arrive at some consensus anyway, you know, and uh, despite you know, the subjectivity and evaluation of mga questions, you know, to me, some talaga meron mga questions na obviously achievement-based, you no, know, or questions that are talaga purely uh, aptitude, you know. Uh, so uh, we 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 tell our item writers, you know, that uh, we want you know the the exam to be aptitude-based, and then they just. Uh, Siyempre, these are experts based on their appreciation of what uh, an aptitude-based exam is. So, no, they, they formulate the questions uh, that way. You know? So, pwede hindi naman siguro talaga wa magiging 100% siya. No? But uh, I think we are satisfied to a certain extent kung uh, maybe about 80, based on the evaluation of the experts, mga 80% of the questions are, are like that. No? We all know naman that the UCAT is made up of four sub-tests in addition multiple choice type. Part, no? uh, yung language, reading, mathematics, no? and uh, science. You know? And uh, we feel you know, that the language part, the uh, reading, and uh, to a certain extent, you know, the mathematics part, they are all aptitude based. You know? uh, yung science lang siguro yung medyo mahirap doing aptitude based exam. You know? But uh, nevertheless, you know, our item writers are. Uh, able to formulate uh, questions you know, that uh, lead more towards uh, the aptitude than the achievement part. So this is another uh, no, uh, initiative you know, the, of the uh, Office of Admissions you know, in order to, as I said, you know, cancel uh, uh, the advantage you know, of those uh, coming from you know, yung mga elite schools. You know. so, Siguro, that way, no, by making the, the, the questions more uh, aptitude-based, uh, kakaroon din ng uh, equal chance no, uh, yung mga hindi mayayaman no, to get admitted into the university. Uh, yes, as mentioned, as, uh, as mentioned earlier by Vice Chancellor Tan, no, uh, parang uh, based on the report ano, ni Chancellor no, na roughly 50% no, of uh, our qualifiers now in, in Diliman uh, come from uh, private uh, schools, you know, and then uh, the remaining 50% nagaling ng public schools, you know, most of them come from the science high schools, you know, na parang ang impression na rin is that uh, parang nagiging private na rin in a way, you know, mga science high schools, you know, it's really the public schools, the, the barangay high schools, the vocational high schools, uh, ito yung medyo mas mababa yung percentage. I don't know no, for the last few years, unfortunately, you know, 
dito uh, sa mga barrio, barangay school, so, no, yung classification ng mga ganito ay uh, wala, wala yata masyado na uh, pumapasok uh, dito sa UP. No? Uh, mga general public schools, karamihan, no? yung mga nanggagaling ng public schools. No? So, it's roughly uh, 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 50%, yes, no? uh, for the last few years, roughly 50%. No, of uh, our qualifiers here in Diliman uh, come from uh, private schools. And uh, there is this thinking, you know, that pag galing ka ng private school, may amat ka. No? Kasi I think ngayon yung tuition ng mga private high schools, so, baka mas mataas pa dito sa tuition natin sa UT. Uh, so the thinking is that if you come from private school, then you are uh, privileged, you are wealthy. You know? uh, pero pag public uh, school, at uh, least general public school. Then yun yung mga hindi masyadong mayaman siguro, pero kung isang meron na rin, mga yata mga mayaman din dito. Uh, so, one more, one, one, uh, nakalimutan ko na siguro earlier, no? Uh, dito sa mga nagkagaling sa mga public schools, no? especially yung mga top 10, at saka yung those whose family income is below 100,000, no? uh, exempted sila dun sa application fee. No? So, uh, isa rin itong paraan natin ano, para, para maikaya at yung mga hindi mayaman para mag-take ng buktak. No? Uh, so, hindi nila pwedeng sabihin na ah, kasi mataas yung uh, application fee. No? Although, uh, for the last decade, I think we haven't raised ano, yung uh, application fee which is 450. No? Pero kung uh, ma, ma galing ka sa primary, uh, public school, I'm sorry, but top 10 ka doon and then at the same time uh, or, or if your family income is less than 100,000, libre na yung uh, application fee. No? So that uh, almost uh, one third of our applicants uh, do, not, do not pay. No? Uh, kaya ako naman ay naniniwala na uh, pagdating sa access dito sa UPA, no, pagdating sa access ay uh, equal pa rin no? And, uh, 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 hindi uh, nagiging reason uh, hindi pwedeng sabihin rason no? na dahil mahirap lang ako ay uh, hindi na ako pwedeng mag, mag take ng buka although unfortunately meron din yata nag nagkakaroon din ng misconception na kung hindi ka mag uh, take ng or like, hindi ka mag review classes then uh, hindi ka napapasa sa UP. Uh, kasi yun ang naririnig ko ngayong reason nila kaya hindi sila nag-take ng new anak of God na kahit wala silang pera. Hindi sa, hindi sa wala silang pambayan ng application fee kundi wala silang pang-review. No? Uh, which is quite unfortunate. Ano? Kaya uh, by, by making the exam um, attitude-based, no? uh, we feel ano, na, na nababawasan o nawawala din naman yung uh, advantage kung let's say nag, uh, uh, ano ka, nag review class ka. No? Uh, kaya siguro uh, on our part din naman siguro uh, maganda rin na uh, may, may pamalita no? yung, uh, yung gano'n no? na hindi kailangan yung mag review no? para kung masasagot ka. No? And especially dahil nga the nature of the questions. Uh, hindi talaga malaki yung contribution ni Kato, oh, nakakaroon ng contribution ano, yung pag-undertake uh, ng review uh, classes. No? So, uh, let me just uh, go back ano, dito rin sa ano, distribution ng mga qualifiers. Uh, uh, Na-mention din earlier yata yan, ano, yung tungkol dito sa pagnayan uh, sa STPA. Uh, although uh, we are not really involved ano, in the STPA processing, Meron din kami mga data kasi nung nakukuha uh, enrollment data, although uh, this data is incomplete. Ano? That's why, uh, before ano, I was thinking na ito, present ko na lang, kaya lang, basic ko rin na uh, because uh, hindi naman kasi talaga sa amin yung data and uh, pwede to a certain extent incomplete yung data. That's why I decided not to uh, show the data anymore but just to relate it to you, ano, yung basic idea na uh, uh, I think some, some, some studies na rin naman kasi uh, based on sa declared income of the applicants. You know, I categorized you know, these uh, applicants you know, the qualifiers subsequently. Uh, I categorized them using yung SDPAP bracketing natin. Although I know, you know that uh, there are other factors you know, that uh, 
uh, get into that classification. But if it were based only on uh, the declared income, let's say, uh, brackets A to E, uh, uh, what I noticed is that uh, most of the uh, what we call no-shows or yung mga non-enrollees, yung mga pumasa pero hindi nag-enroll, hindi nag-tuloy, uh, yung pinakamataas na percentage ng no-shows nandun sa na-classify ko na bracket A. So parang siguro it makes sense no? because uh, kung uh, nandun ka sa bracket A, at least yung income mo mataas, then that means that you have more uh, opportunities. No, pwede kang pumasok dun sa maybe Ateneo, Rizal, no, sa ibang schools na, uh, na afford nila naman yung uh, vision fees doon. No? So pinakamataas uh, ang no-show rate ng mga, mga na-classify under A. No? And then ang pinakamababa naman yung nandun sa gitna, I think bracket C. No? So mga bracket C and D, uh, ito yung kadalasan na gain no, pinakamataas yung enrollment rate pero pinakamababa yung A yung E uh, yung E dalawa yung E at natin di ba? Uh, E1 and E2 so uh, sila naman din medyo uh, marami din sa kanila nag-enroll but I think it would be better if we can come up with some uh, program maybe na ma-identify ka agad natin itong mga uh, nandito sa mga brackets nito or yung mga pwedeng may lagay sa brackets nito and then right at the very start you know, to uh, provide uh, support for them you know, kasi uh, uh, based dun sa personal experience ko rin naman you know, kasi ka, mahirap din naman yata kami you know, uh, and then galing sa provincia uh, pag tumasa ka na kasi ng UPCAT it's not just a question of yung uh, kaya ba natin bayaran yung tuition no, kasi then you have to relocate, you have to go to the city, you have to leave, you have to leave, you have to leave, you have to leave, you know, so malaking bagay din yun, you know, and I think you can encounter din yung problema na yun, you know, yung, yung mga galing ng probinsya, tumakasa ng UPCAT, pero kuminsan, the reason why hindi sila nakakapagtuloy, kasi uh, iniisip na nila kung saan manggagaling yung, uh, hindi lang yung pambayad ng tuition, no, kundi yung pamasahe, pagpunta dito, no, so siguro, early on, we can identify this, uh, students, no? pwede natin tulungan no? uh, instead na kagad bigyan natin ng uh, computer uh, meron natin ang balak na gano'n, I don't know if uh, they will implement it no? <laughs> lahat ng mga, mga papasa ay bibigyan ng computer no? uh, I don't know if there is a computer no? but maybe we can also uh, no, uh, identify the most needy no? uh, and then, uh, doon sa umpisa ka lang, sa confirmation ka lang, ganyan, no? uh, subukan na natin yung tulungan. No? Uh, Bigyan lang siguro ng stipend uh, para makakaroon ng, hindi na nila problemahin at least yung kamasahe. No? And then, baka bigyan ng priority si Dorms, si Mulay, si Mulay, si Mulay, si Mulay. Pag pumunta na nila dito, problema din sa mga sila tuloy. No? So, uh, as I said, no, I really cannot answer your question of ang mayaman na lang ba ang UP, uh, we, we try to uh, give access to everyone, you know, and uh, uh, we would like to think that you know, the hindi reason, you know, yung pagiging mahira para hindi makakuha ng hookah, and at the same time, you know, uh, meron pa rin siyang uh, equal chance. Uh, not only because uh, we try to uh, develop the exam in such a way na nababawasan yung advantage ng mga mayayama, but uh, also because uh, within the processing itself, you know, within the selection process itself, you know, meron din na rin naman tayo mga equity considerations na binibigay dito sa mga nanggagaling sa mga mayihirap na family. You know? So maybe uh, you've heard of yung mga equity factors na tinatawa natin, mga palugit and the likes, you know, and uh, these are incorporated into the selection process. Now, whether these uh, factors are enough, you know, uh, I think uh, uh, that's another question, and uh, we're trying to review and do studies you know, in order to determine whether these are adequate measures. You know. Uh, to uh, ensure no, that uh, uh, even those who come from disadvantaged uh, backgrounds you know, 
are able to make it into the university. So, yellow ball at Maraming Salamat. Maraming Salamat, Dr. Professor Franco. Naku, siguro maraming mga tanong ang ating mga estudyante, no? Mamaya sa open forum. 